That's another litmus test. Eastern's going to want to play slower with particularly how much they screen. Going in now is Malone and gets the roll. And now another interesting look. Gary A took it up as Damask fires and short. Malone the rebound. You'll see him since here Malone every. Illinois has to be imagining the, the one guy who can really play inside is Dane Danger as Harmon misses that one. And all the Illini faithful have to be thinking, where's Danger? When's he coming in? At this point, as another one goes inside in transition from Jordan Booker. On a smaller defender right now, he's matched up against Rodolfo Bolis. Or is it going to be Luke Goody? Right now, Damask has it as he goes inside, gains some separation, and puts it through. But they're still keeping it on the outside. Now Danger sets a screen. Damask met right there. Goody fakes it, takes it, makes it. Beautiful curl from Shelton. Fake, stripped nonetheless by Shannon. He's moving quickly, looking to push the pace. Goes up, unable to handle it. Gives Lawhorn right there. Finish. Eastern Illinois, a bit out of sorts here as Tiger Booker resets. Shot clock has gone halfway down, driving in on Hawkins, senses the mismatch, but too strong. Now Goody pushing the pace. Gives Lawhorn going in, a one on three, and he converts nonetheless. Game with seven and a half left in the first. Now if you're Eastern Illinois, how do you respond? You've leaned heavily on the guards going in. Teardrop doesn't go, Bolis gets it back. Fight for it, still alive, too strong again. Now does Illinois push the pace? Yes they do. Who else gives Lawhorn? Timeout Eastern Illinois. A happy Illinois team too as they have a chance now with three and a half to go in on the momentum. Shannon pushing the pace, no surprise. Gary A faked and brings it in. Eight seconds, they're looking to get it to Shannon and they do. Goody sets up, Shannon with a deep three from the logo and he delivers. That's some momentum going into halftime, fixing the three point problem. They will start things off for the second half. Hawkins spearheading things on the outside, off the screen from Shannon, going in, great ball control, puts it through. Spearheading things inside, that's been your bread and butter. Hawkins screens, Shannon drives. Again, if you had to sum up the offense in those four words. Mid-range game. And really what it comes down to is, right, the game plan was to stay aggressive, and while they have the, this whole time, Illinois has just had the upper hand because of their talent. Good tip there by Hawkins, and again, because of that, they're forced to rely on a lot of these freshman guards in the mid-range game, something that hasn't been clicking since a good portion of that first half. They do get a steal here, though. Transition is a place they can get involved, and Nikhil Shelton converts. First points in quite a while for the Panthers. Yeah, right now we've really just struggled to see, you know, Hawkins get into some sort of groove there as he committed that turnover, which led to that transition bucket. Only one point for Coleman Hawkins in this game. More than one there for Luke Gooden. So again, Jermaine Hamlin on the outside. And two, you know, the top big man is out for quite some time in Donaldson. Hamlin has three fouls. Malone's out. How much of that is a beautiful move inside there? Cooper Jacoby, what a spark plug he's been in a sore spot, and it ended up hurting them in close games last year. Shannon, far kick out. Gibbs Lawhorn now at the wing. Deep! They're going to be forced, you know, Coleman Hawkins, you know, Danger, guys who just are able to sit back down the paint. They're going to have to come up and guard that mid-range, which opened up opportunities for the inside as well. Imani Hansberry was doubled, but that left a man wide open. Pushing in the pace, increased intensity from him as he tries to find an outlet. Now moving in now, mid-range, floater with the right hand, does not go. As we're inside of two minutes now, Niccolo Moretti has it. Changes direction, met inside, Hansberry keeps it alive, and the foul. Rodolfo Boldis had some valuable minutes as well, but it all started going downhill as Hansberry hits a three. It all started going downhill when Jermaine Hamlin had to leave the game with foul trouble. Sincere Malone wasn't really a factor tonight for that same purpose, so that's adjustment number one for Eastern, and then Adjustment number two is when your back's against the wall, you have to convert in the context of the mid-range. Beautiful move right there with the left hand from Isaiah Griffin. Marcus Damask and Dane Danger with quality minutes as well to start the run for Illinois. It was a 24-6 run that rounded out the first half of play and a quick start to the second half.